the royal family completed because look who has just arrived and come to fetch her two cubs. Karula once again proving what a fantastic mum she is. Also, she's, she looks smaller than Hosanna now. There's Karula. There's Hosanna. Okay, not quite. He's still inch or two to grow before he's her size but it's close there's little shungile trotting along behind him it was so funny earlier she fell out of a tree and hosana pulled her out it was she was trying to dangle and reclaim her dignity and he just went for her and pulled her out of the tree it was utterly utterly beguiling okay you lot let's catch up i i got a little bit caught up and thrown behind because I had to collect a pile of Hosanna's scat. It was in the middle of the road, so finally we've got both cubs. I thought this vial, I got a nasty surprise because I thought that this vial was empty, it wasn't. So hence why it is now in a Ziploc bag. Oh, what was I going to say? Oh yes, the reason that we do that is so that we can pass it on to Panthera and they will then in turn bouncing all over the place. They will then in turn use it to analyze the DNA of the leopard that deposited the scat and particularly with the hope of determining paternity of the leopard cubs. And what I'm really curious to find out, when we do start to see results from that study, and it's a big study, it's, it's not just about Karula and her cubs, it's uh, focused on many different leopards. Can you imagine how interesting it would be to find out if it's possible for cubs to have two different fathers? That's what I'm fascinated by. Did a drongo just mob her? I think so. Sorry, I'm making sure I don't drive too much up their tails, just so that they don't feel pressured. Let's just get around this corner. Keeping Eggsy working hard as we roll along. How sweet is this? Three leopard bottoms, all marching along. Oh! Bat! That's what all the alarm calls was about. It was Karula herself coming back to fetch the little ones, or the not-so-little ones anymore. There's the Drongo. I think it is quite upset at their presence. Okay, but Drongos are like that. Forktail Drongos are not afraid of anything. They mob large aerial predators. They went for Karula now. Well, this one went for Karula now. Oh. And I'm sure those Impala spotted Karula. I wonder where she is on her way to now. And of course you must have heard from James the wonderful news about Fatomi. And the fact that he managed to catch himself an Impala. I'm so excited for him. Vutomi is a young male leopard. Um, he is fathered, oh, sorry, fathered. His mother is in Kanyeni. So she's off to the east around Cheetah Plains and she, he's been on his own for ages. So it's really, really good news. What are you doing, mister? I can't get too close to your mom and your sister if you... There we go. Our Painted Wolf, lovely name by the way, Painted Wolf. Painted Wolf, you want to know what year they will release the DNA study? I'm not sure, I'm afraid. I'm not in the position to answer that. As with any of these sorts of studies, it could well take a few years um, before we start to see the results. And of course, they'll be published in the academic world first before we have access to them. So I can't, I can't give you the answer. It is a huge study that's being done, and it might take many, it might take years to process all of the information from the DNA of the leopard scat. Yes, little monster. What you doing? Uh, we've spoken before about the enmity between baboons and leopards. Let's go and have a look at a very tiny baboon. <laughs> 